Clearly, it's not just church attendance that is the focus here. What we're looking for is a full-out relationship with Jesus Christ and a desire to serve Him. Well, that is much of the mission of Teens for Christ. You may have heard of them. They're headquartered here in Lima, and they're impacting on a weekly basis hundreds of teens. Their vision, though, is not just those locally. They have an international ministry that has a heart to see young adults everywhere truly turn into long-term committed followers of Christ. Coming up in March, Teens for Christ is hosting a major event, including national speakers and musicians. It's called Converge. Tickets went on sale just last month. Well, Mark sat down with Buck Sutton and Paul Paschal, and talks converge. Every major revival or movement started with just a few people, young people, people who had an anguish to see God impose His will into the very heart of society. My senior year of high school, I knew that God was calling me to do something for Him. I knew going to youth group and going to boot camp and different things that God had set aside things for me, but I didn't know what to do and I didn't know how to do it. So my senior year, I, I had this idea to start a prayer group at my school and we met every week and it started with just me. And it slowly grew and it slowly grew and eventually we had dozens upon dozens that went to this group, but when I left, the entire group dissolved and it fell apart. There was no sustained movement. It didn't stick. And so Converge, it's not about creating this short-term burst of energy. It's about creating this sustainable, lifelong movement to engage the world for Christ, not just Lima, Ohio, not just your high school. And we want to equip you. We want to empower you with the gospel so that you know what to do. So that when you go to your high school, you can reach everyone for Jesus Christ. And when you leave, when you graduate, your legacy will still be there because it's not you. It's Christ. And we're going to empower you to do that at Converge 2014. And it's going to be incredible. And you want to be part of the movement. Converge 2014 is just a few weeks away. Registration is underway. We're joined now by two of the members of Teens for Christ, Buck Sutton and Paul Paschal. And first off, Buck, just second year for Converge. First year went well, I take it. Second uh, year, you're ramping up, making it a little bit bigger. Oh, uh, boy, I tell you, we are so excited about Converge because of the momentum that happened that first year. You know, we, we wanted to provide something for local teenagers and ministries and churches uh, where they could come to a conference, not a pepper rally, but a conference of worship and being equipped to live out their faith in Christ. And then also, we've also seen we had kids get saved there last year. So it's, it's a multifaceted thing, but uh, we have so much more momentum than we did last year at this time. And uh, we're very, very excited about it. Paul, what, uh, what changes have you made from last year to this year? What, uh, what can we expect from this year's Converge 2014? There's, there's a few changes this year. One, we're bringing in more speakers. Last year, one keynote speaker, and this year we'll have three nationally known keynote speakers. Uh, we're also upgrading our worship band, so it's going to be a little bit more of a well-known band. We're also going to have 20 breakout sessions this year, a lot more than we had last year. And we're also moving the venue to the UNH Event Center, and it won't be at the Civic Center this year. But So there's a few changes, but, it's, but the core of it's still the same and we're sticking to what we're, we're good at, doing evangelism, discipleship things. Yeah. Digital Age is the, the headliner band? Yes, they are. They are the uh, band that used to be with David Crowder, mm -hmm. and David Crowder kind of moved on uh, to be on his own, and so the band kind of formed a new group. Certainly, Buck, Teens for Christ, your heart is in teens, in the high schools, in the middle schools, trying to, to grow the youth, and just, just some amazing things have been going on with you guys recently. Oh boy, I tell you, even uh, since September 1 here locally, we've had 126 salvations. And, uh, you know, right now we're averaging about uh, 550 teens uh, every week coming to a Bible study here locally. So, um, boy, it's, uh, it's an exciting time to be in youth ministry. And, um, and it's happening right here. And uh, that's one of the things we wanted to do. We wanted to be in Lima, you know, have, have a, um, a, a ministry, but also this converge where you know, churches, youth ministries can come together and we can have something really powerful. We're already having uh, people contact us from Florida, hopefully from Michigan. They're going to be coming into Converge also. So uh, it's going to be a regional thing. The other thing we're excited about is we do this Operation Love Lima, where uh, on Saturday afternoon, the teenagers are going to be dispersed throughout the Lima land area trying to bless this area. And uh, so, you know, uh, there are some exciting teenagers out there that do love God and uh, that are very, you know, uh, quality people. 
Paul, what do folks need to do to, to get involved? What's the, the registration deadline? That's great. We're still looking for volunteers. We have a website, www.convergemovement.com, and they can visit that website if they're interested in being a volunteer. Or if a student would like to register online, we have dates and more information on there. And so they can visit that website at any time and get more information. Buck, I know you guys are in a lot of schools. How many different schools are you guys in now? Uh, 20 here locally. And uh, so, you know, we've expanded into Florida and Texas and, and Arkansas, and we're in eight other countries. Um, right now, internationally, we're ministering to 209,000 a week, and, uh, and that just seems to be growing every month. So um, it is, uh, it, it's an uh, interesting uh, problem that we have of, of growth right now and how to handle that. And then finally, once again, when's the dates for Converge 2014? It's March the 28th and 29th. That'll be a Friday and Saturday. And uh, so, man, we're, uh, we want as many people to, to jump on board as possible. We had over 50 churches involved last year, and our goal is to get over 100. All right. Thank you very much, Buck Sutton and Paul Paschal from Teens for Christ. As they are, they're getting ready for Converge 2014. They, they need your prayers and uh, certainly more information available on the website, convergemovement.com.